Okay, so we're gonna do the exact same thing, but with Lilia today. So yes, Lilia is the third champion coming in this expansion, so I'm going to do the reaction to the card. I have no idea what she does, apart from I can I saw on Twitter that there was a sleep mechanic, but I'll learn about that the first time. I assume it's going to be a stun, so let's see. Close your eyes and dream Lilia turns dreams into reality. Okay. Uh, yeah, Bashful Bloom. I want to read it once the keyboard comes up. Dreams Bloom. Okay, here we go. Three mana from Ionia, of course. A 2-1 with Quick Attack and Spirit. So she's a 3-2 with Quick Attack. When I'm summoned or shrike, create a Dream Laden Burrow in hand. Or if you have one, reduce its cost by one. You've summoned 15 allies or landmarks. So similar to Azir in the level up. Um, okay. Three mana, 3-2 Quick Attack. It was like Draven and Ionia. Okay, she makes a slow speed, sleep and ally, or sleep, obliterate a unit and recall its attachments to store an exact copy in a landmark for one round. Okay. Oh dear. So it's obliterate it. Hello? Puts it in a landmark. Oh, I see. So you make a landmark and then you summon it again. So like, it's like a quick way to Sing to level. me of little lost dreams far away. Mother and guardian. Sleep and ally. Okay, so she's sleeping. A little dream does wonders. Okay. So she's gonna level. What's the level like? Oh no. You won't harm their dreams. Not a one. Okay. Uh... Bit of a bit of a slow level of animation, but when I'm summoned or strike, create a one in hand if you haven't thing it. When you sleep, another ally immediately wake it up and grant it spirit. So it's a two mana slow, give everything plus one plus one. Like give it sorry, give it plus one plus one. So it's good for summon effects. Oh, recall an ally and grant all stacks of its spirit to it's another so ally. That's like Start sharing. Damn, Lilia hits hard. Okay, so I will look at these cards once I have done all of my <clears throat> reaction, uh, done my graphics for the LR report. So three, two, one. Okay, we are back. I have done my graphic for the LR report. So let's go back and have a look at the cards. So I've literally, I haven't looked at any of the cards apart from Lilia. So gonna be a bit, a bit nice. So I want to just go back and quickly read the sleep mechanic. So what I'm gonna do is I know that Riot tweeted it out. So let's read this again. So sleep obliterate a unit and recall its attachments to store an exact copy in a landmark for one round. Okay so it's kind of like an entomb but for an ally. Uh, for an ally. Okay so let's go to the cards. And let's have a read. So we know Lilia, and this is the Dream Laden Burrow. Bur bruh? Bruh. This is a bruh. Uh, and then this is her champion spell. So Lilia's Blooming Bud is a three mana fast spell. Sleep a unit. So that can be an ally. So this one's just an ally, and this is for an enemy. So it's a fast speed entomb. Uh, but entomb would destroy equipment. This doesn't. This would recall it. This is very good i don't see a world where this wouldn't see play especially in ionia ionia is all about stalling uh, a bit different now that karma's gone but yeah this is a card that i can 100 percent see in play it seems extremely strong especially at fast speed because you just like you'll just run this in a deck with Lilia, in lilia i would feel um so yeah very strong i i think this is a very strong card uh so this is a story so the first time you play this, summon a Spriteling, which was the 1 mana 2-2. Two, two. And then the second time you do it, you get an, uh, you sleep an ally. Hmm. So it seems like Lilia is going to work really well with Kennen. Ah, interesting. This is why Kennen stayed around then. Because Lil Lilia will work with Kennen. Especially with these Spritelings, if you can get some, like, Kennen Demacia. Yeah, Kennen, Lilia, Demacia, and then you go for the other Spritelings thing, and then you can like play it as an 8-mana card and it will just fill the board if you haven't le le leveled Kennen by then. Um, so this, for 2 mana, you immediately get a 1 drop. Hmm. Maybe, so this, just for the, the this effect, doesn't seem great. So maybe, maybe Sleep and Ally is stronger than I... I think, but 
Because it's specifically an ally, right? So, yeah. I'm not too sure about that. Uh, Petal Pixie. A 2 mana 1-1. One, one. When I'm summoned, summon a Spritelings. Summon Spritelings. So, I assume, yeah, Spritelings is the 1-mana the card again. Um... 2 mana, summon a 2-2. Two, two. It's kind of like the Mirai Warden, I think it's called. Just one less thing. That's pretty decent. That's very good, actually. That's... Yeah, that's that's a good card. I like that. And it's good for Lilia as well. Yeah, good card, I like that. Sprite Mother. So this was the card that we saw them, like, use the uh, Dream Laden on. So this is a... 4 mana 2 1, so very low stats. When I'm summoned, grant Spritelings and Spriteling Mothers everywhere spirit. Okay. That. So, definitely Ionia Demacia. And you're definitely using that 8 mana card. I can't think of the name, but you everyone knows what I'm talking about. The one that just fills the board up if you have the space. Um, wow, that card's very strong. Okay, so this makes this better then, and this makes this even better. Okay, so yeah, this card is like. If you're playing this, you're going to play this. If you're not playing this, you'd never play this, I think. Um, especially with it being at slow speed. Uh, and then, Aphelius Gardener. 3 mana, 2, 4. Play. Fully heal an ally, then sleep it. Wow. So it goes for one turn. You fully heal it. Is there any reason... I'm trying to think, of, is there a card that you want to fully heal... Hmm. I guess I'd have to have a think about that. That's interesting. For three mana though, a two four stat line, very good. Um, so like good on this, so that you can constantly keep doing this when I'm summoned or strike. You're getting this, you're doing this. So it's like kind of all in on the sprite mother. So yeah, I guess you use this on sprite mother. Um, and this is good for Lilia. So yeah, that's a. I guess I think the stat line's very good. The stat line is. Very, very good. Um, yeah, we'll just have to see how it performs. Uh, sprite Dance, so you guys can still see this. There you go. Uh, three mana fast. Recall an ally to grant all stacks. Oh, yeah, this is the card that we saw. Um, recalling an ally, so it's a Ari card, grant all stacks of its spirit to another ally. I think with just Sprite Mother, this is like, this is like a Sprite Mother card. This seems like you're all in on the Sprite Mother. Um, but yeah, so this card, um, just for the recall effects, it's not great, but yeah, when you have this and actually get value out of it, it could be pretty good, especially with quick attack on Lilia. And then the last card, which was just, I will scroll up so you guys can see it, give this video a like, uh, is a seven mana story, so very expensive. Focus speed though, so... You get to do this before an attack, basically. So heal your Nexus 3 and summon a Spritelings. Wow. That's very good. Especially with Sprite Mother. That's crazy. Grant allies everywhere spirit. That's kind of crazy. Huh? This card is so good. Manifest a card that costs 8 or more and reduce its cost by half. Round it up. Okay, this card is crazy. We have to run landmark removal in the new expansion. If they get this down and you don't answer it, you're just going to lose the game. Uh, just this second line is crazy. Is right dance? Okay, so this is like kind of a pre built deck in a way. Even though there's only like what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards. So eight, 16, 24. 24 cards. You have 16 cards. Ionia is really good for stall. So you could probably get this out. Maybe you could ramp into this. Wow. Very good. Honestly, I think the cards here, knowing the full context of them now, are very strong. And then this is her level two. Uh, let's let's look at the level up animation again. She's like looking at looks, right? So if we uh, go by like frame by frame. So she looks at... Look I saw like the looks in here, right? So... So she looks a little bit shocked. Yeah, so it goes like, oh my god, look at that face. So yeah, it's red, looks, having a nightmare. And Lily is like, hell no. But um, yeah, no, we'll uh, we'll see. This seems very strong. This is 
the kind of Ionia deck that I would probably play. So, honestly, this expansion is pretty good. Like, I feel like I would want to play all these champions. Obviously, I'm going to play Lux first. But, like, this is very, very good. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, the reveal season has probably got two more days worth of reveals for variety cards. So, I might need to do them in one video. I might do them day by day if they're interesting. But, yeah, we'll see, we'll see what happens. So, uh, thank you for watching the video. And I will see you next time for the next reveals.